Hello and welcome back to Stoneface Picks. The topic that we've picked out today is an artificial reef, which is a man-made structure in the ocean that serves as a home to marine life. These reefs provide food, shelter, and other essential elements for their inhabitants. Recently, artificial reefs have seen an uptick in popularity as sites for marine recreational activities like surfing and diving. These structures may be constructed to protect coastlines from erosion or boost seafood production in certain regions. Artificial reefs can be constructed using PVC, steel, or concrete materials. Alternatively, they could also be repurposed items like shipwrecks or construction debris that was submerged to provide shelter for marine life. Characteristics Artificial reefs are man-made structures designed to replicate natural habitats they can be utilized for a variety of reasons, such as habitat improvement and fish aggregation. They resemble natural reefs and provide habitat for corals and other marine organisms to colonize and encrust the structure. Over time, these structures may become home to a wide range of species, increasing local fish abundance, fishing yields, and relieving overfished reefs of stress. They can be constructed out of a range of materials, such as geotextile sand containers, in short, GSCs and geotubes. GSCs and geotubes are especially well suited for deep bottoms due to their dimensions and crest width which absorb wave energy and add stability in rough seas. Purpose An artificial reef is designed to provide habitats for marine life. Typically, they are placed on featureless bottoms in order to encourage the growth of corals, sponges, tunicates, mussels, and other sea creatures. New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, in short, DEC, collaborates with the Army Corps of Engineers, United States Coast Guard, local fishing clubs, and other organizations to enhance reef sites through patch reefing. This method has become known as an effective tool in improving these reef sites. Patch reefs are constructed using clean rock, concrete, and steel in various forms. These materials are carefully placed at discrete areas on the reef site, leaving natural benthic habitat in between. Types Artificial reefs come in a variety of forms and are usually situated on featureless bottoms that have been cleared of any invasive marine species. Some artificial reefs are constructed from discarded ships or other items that are not environmentally hazardous. These artificial reefs serve to provide habitat fish spawning grounds, and fishing opportunities for saltwater sport fishermen and divers. Nearshore artificial reefs are created in state or federal waters between the coastline and a 100-foot depth contour offering greater accessibility for sport anglers than offshore or deep water reefs. Natural versus Artificial Reefs Artificial reefs differ from natural reefs in that they are man-made structures designed to enhance marine life. These reefs are constructed using strong, durable materials which can last a long time. Construction of artificial reefs can attract and support fish populations, reduce human impact on natural reefs, and foster the growth of rare coral species that aren't typically seen elsewhere. However, some artificial reefs have caused extensive harm to marine life. One such example is Osborne Reef in Florida, which was constructed using more than 2 million used tires. In conclusion, artificial reefs have become a valuable tool for marine conservation and management. They provide habitat and refuge for a diverse range of marine species, enhance the productivity of marine ecosystems, and promote sustainable fisheries. Artificial reefs can also be used to mitigate the impacts of anthropogenic activities such as coastal development, pollution, and climate change. However, their effectiveness depends on several factors such as the materials used for their construction, their location, and their design. Therefore, it is important to carefully plan and monitor the installation and maintenance of artificial reefs to ensure their long-term success. Despite some limitations, artificial reefs are a promising approach for protecting and restoring marine ecosystems and their use is likely to increase in the future as a means to address the growing threats to the ocean. That's all we've got today on artificial reefs. If you've liked our content, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pics in the future.